Good morning. Today I'm going to be going on uh, the bobbin case, the bobbin, how to insert the bobbin into the bobbin case, and then how to insert it into the Melco EMT16X embroidery machine. First of all, you're going to want to have the bobbin, and this will be this is how I do it. It's facing me like this. So this would be facing you. You're going to want to make sure this is wound clockwise. So it's winding clockwise. So your tail will be on your right hand side here. And this will be looking at me. So then you're going to want to grab your bobbin case with the inside facing you also. So it's like this. Not like this with the little tab, the little handle on the outside. You don't want it like that. You want it inside like that. So then I just slip the bobbin in there with the tail on the right hand side again. Like that. And that would be facing you. Now the bobbin case has a little slit on the side, a little opening. Now you're going to want to bring that tail up and bring it in through there, in through that slit. And then you're going to want to pull it up on that spring right there. Oops. Pull it up on that spring, underneath that spring right there. That spring is that metal flap. Then you'll pull it and the embroidery machine has a pigtail up here. Right here, this little wire on the top. And this is my EMT. Uh, my Melco machine has that. I'm not sure if all um, embroidery machines have that, but that's what this has. Um, my industrial sewing machines bobbin cases do not have that pigtail so this is the difference on this as opposed to like a regular sewing machine so you're going to want to grab this wire go behind it and start at the bottom of that little pigtail and wrap around there and then you'll have your thread hooked up around that pigtail so you're going to want to be able to pull pull on it and it'll unwind not easy but have a little bit of resistance but not a lot of resistance though either so that's how you do that okay so here's your bobbin you're going to want to um, have your bobbin facing you this is how I do it I face my bobbin where the th this thread is winding clockwise so this tail is hanging off the right hand side as opposed to this way where it's unwinding or it's winding counterclockwise so here's the tail here's my bobbin case this stem right here is the inside of the case here's the outside of the case Here's a pigtail that's on this uh, Melco embroidery machine. Um, my industrial sewing machine do, does not have this pigtail on it. And I'm not sure if the, uh, any other um, embroidery machines, um, bobbin cases have that. So I get the bobbin with a pigtail or with a tail on the right hand side. And it's winding clockwise. I grab my bobbin case with the inside facing me. I put the bobbin in there. Right here, there's a slit in the bobbin case. I put that tail right in that slit. And this here is a spring. I pull the thread underneath that spring like that it just goes up and over at the top of the spring and it sits there like this 
so hopefully you can see this it sits here like this and once again I went in that slit with the, the, the tail of the thread from the bobbin up that spring to the top and across and it sits like that now this bobbin case I said has that pigtail in it so I grab this thread I go in between the bobbin the back of the bobbin like in between the bobbin and that pigtail so I go between that bobbin and that pigtail and I start at the bottom and I give it a couple wraps around that pigtail and it's sitting like this now when you pull this bobbin thread it should unwind not really easy but it should have some tension on it and that's how you insert the bobbin in the bobbin case on this machine here's where the bobbin case goes in here um, before you do it you're going to want to make sure that you uh, did your uh, maintenance on here of your rotary hook maintenance and what that consists of taking out the bobbin case and it'll go through uh, it'll walk you through steps uh, that you can click on the computer you take out the bobbin case you click next and the the blade here the cutter will come in in and out you uh you're gonna want to spray it with some uh compressed air get any lint out of there or any thread out of there that's in there and then uh you'll click next then you'll get your um, oiling pin and you'll put one drop of oil right here on this little ledge here and then uh you'll re reinsert the bobbin case and that's complete so um make sure you keep up on your maintenance on this it'll run smoother and um it'll help uh out throughout ju not just that maintenance but uh it'll give you periodic maintenance uh, maintenance um uh highlights that come up and and uh let you know when you need your maintenance done so what i do with this is I grab this little handle that opens up here. Hopefully you guys can see everything that I'm showing you. I grab that. And usually I grab the, th the thread, make sure it's not going to get caught underneath there. And I'll grab that like this here. So I got the, the little handle here, the flap. And I got my thread making sure it doesn't get caught in anything. You're just going to want to put it on this stem right here. You're going to want to put it on this stem right here. And that's where that stem inside the bobbin case goes. Just rides right in there. And you'll hear a click. When you let go, you're going to want to make sure that your thread doesn't get caught behind this flap like this where it's it's stuck behind there you're gonna want to make sure you you have the the thread out here moving freely where you can move it freely and it'll run through the machine better so um, that's that and then you just click clip it shut and that's installing your bobbin case into your bobbin